Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to reduce large file sizes for heavy PDF exports from Figma using the Tiny Image plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the little resources icon up here, and if you search for Tiny Image, so that's T-I-N-Y-I-M-A-G-E, and then click on the plugins tab, then click on the Tiny Image result. And then you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here, and that's going to allow you to run the plugin from your saved plugins list later. So I've already clicked on the save icon, so I'm just going to go to my canvas, I'm going to right click anywhere, go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on tiny image. And that's just going to run the plugin we saved a second ago. So the plugin has a bunch of different features that allow you to export and compress images from Figma. But for today, I'm just going to be focusing on creating uh, PDFs that have a much lighter file size weight than the native Figma exports. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my create PDF button. So in the plugin, if you just go ahead and click on create PDF, and then just make sure you've got a couple of parent Figma frames. So what I mean by that is frames that are directly on your page rather than nested inside of uh, other elements. And as long as you've got a couple of those, those should come up here. And if you uh, have added them since opening the plugin, just click on this little refresh icon, and that's just gonna refresh any parent frames that you've got on your page. So this is gonna allow us to create a PDF with multiple frames in a single PDF file, and you can kind of customize which PDF uh, frames go in there and the order of those layers, etc., and things like that. So what you wanna make sure you have checked is this downsize large Figma image fills toggle. So if you click on that toggle and then you can change this option over here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make sure that any image fills on your layers. So for example, each of these uh, layers have an image fill applied to them here. And what happens is a lot of the time you'll get these images from your computer. They'll be really large images, really high resolution images. And those are going to get uh, exported along with your PDF normally and really blow out the file size. So what this toggle does is it allows you to automatically downscale those fills in Figma and it'll make sure that they never exceed the uh, multiple scale of whatever you've selected for your layer size. So for example, in this case, uh, if this image fill is 4,000 pixels wide and 4,000 pixels tall, uh, in this case, toggling this option on and doing it to 2x the layer size will automatically downscale that image fill to be a maximum of you know, eight to 900 pixels in width and size. So this is really gonna shrink down your image fills as we'll see in a moment. So now that I've got that downscale large Figma image fills toggle enabled, and I've got this set to 2x, which is gonna give me a really good uh, file size compression, then I'm just gonna click on export PDF. And you can see here that it's downsizing the PDF image fills, and you can actually see them getting swapped out in real time. So it's actually downscaling any images that require the downscaling. And you only really need to do this once the first time, and then any subsequent ones uh, will be much faster because it's already downsized those images. So once the PDF compression finishes, just go ahead and save that to your computer. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop, click on save, and you can see here it's saved us a total of 22.5 megabytes. So the original export of these two frames from Figma would have been almost 30 megabytes and running it through the compressor with the downscale option enabled has saved us 79% of the file size that we would have had originally. So now it's just got it down to six megabytes, uh, which is a great saving. And you can see on the desktop, we've got the PDF there. So we can obviously open that up and show you what that looks like. And you've got your two pages automatically exported. Um, so that's looking really good. And then if we go back, I'm also gonna show you how to export these as individual PDFs as well. So maybe you don't wanna always uh, export your PDFs in one file. You might wanna do it in multiple files. You can do that as well. So the first thing you need to make sure you've got set up is for these parent frames or really any frames you wanna to export to PDF from your page. Just make sure you've got the export setting applied down here. So for example, if I remove that and then refresh the layers in here, it'll say that there's no layers on the page that have any export settings. So if you see that, it just means you haven't applied export settings to your layers yet. So I'll just show you what that looks like now. If you click on the frames you wanna to export to individual PDFs, click on those frames, go down to export down here in the bottom right hand corner of your column, click on this little export plus icon down in the bottom right, and then you just wanna change the PNG default option to PDF instead. 
And then once you've got PDF selected, just go back to tiny image and click refresh exportable layers. And that'll automatically pick up on those export settings. As you can see here, it's telling us that we've got our PDF setting uh, applied to that one. So this will allow you to export these two different frames as individual PDF files. And if you're coming from this uh, up front and you're not even going into the PDF uh, menu over here, what you just wanna do is go to the settings panel. So click on the little settings icon in the left of the header in the plugin, and you'll see the same options down here for the PDF. So it'll say PDF image fill auto downscaling. Just make sure that downscale large Figma image fills is enabled, and then again, select this option to be whatever you like. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave that at 2X, close that settings panel off. And now that we've got our PDF uh, export option selected, just go ahead and click on this blue export button in the top right of the plugin. And once you click that, you can see it's processing each of those PDFs individually. Um, and because we've already downsized and downscaled our PDF fills, you can see it's going through those much quicker this time. It's essentially just checking that they have been downscaled and it's checking for any new layers that haven't been downscaled yet. So the export process is much faster uh, with subsequent runs. So I'm just gonna save that to my desktop and because we've exported two, it's gonna export them as a zip file. So I'm just gonna open up the zip file. So if we open up that folder, you can see we've got our two individual PDF files exported there. So we've got our dark one and our light one. We can preview those as individual files. You can see here and the dark one. And you'll notice that the file sizes are also uh, much smaller. So you've got 3.3 megabytes per PDF. And if we check out the stats in the compression output here, you can see that it's basically scaled each of them down from about 15 megabytes down to three megabytes. So very consistent 79% saving compared to uh, the other one that we did as well. So there we go, we've saved about 24 megabytes there. The other thing that you can play around with is the DPI. So you might notice that I've had the DPI set to 300. So we've got 300 DPI set here. Uh, so we can change that to be 150 and you can do that in the create PDF uh, output as well. So you can see the uh, DPI slider here, we can change that. So you can set that to 150 and that's gonna basically, again, perform more performance uh, on the compression side. So if you go all the way to 72, the images are gonna look not that great. 300 DPI is like print quality and then 150 DPI is actually more set for screens. So you might wanna play around with that one. I'll show you what that looks like now if we re-export this uh, PDF, merged PDF at 150 DPI. You'll notice that the, again, the downsizing is much quicker because it's not actually downsizing anything again. And now it's optimizing the pages and we can save that. So if we click on save and replace the one that we had there already, you can see that this time it's actually increased the file savings even more. So it's gone down from 30 megabytes down to under three and it saved us 90% compared to the original uh, large Figma export. So we can open up that uh, merge PDF and you can see here it's, it's looking really good. And we've got a 90% file size saving without really any noticeable quality loss. So that's a really good option. I actually do recommend exporting at 150 DPI if you're just using the PDF for screen purposes. If you are sending it to print or you're displaying it at really high resolutions, then 300 is probably better, but 150 DPI is what I would typically recommend for the most optimal quality to file size saving ratio, coupled with the downsizing toggle, downscaling toggle that we went through before. Those two things are gonna make a huge difference to really large file sizes uh, that are normally coming out of the Figma native PDF exports. So yeah, that's a fairly comprehensive way of showing you how to get your PDF file sizes down when you're exporting them from Figma. Uh, I know that sometimes the file sizes can be really large, uh, way too big for emails and things like that. And this is gonna allow you to really easily and automatically optimize those PDF file sizes to suit your own needs, depending on if it's print or screen or anything like that. Uh, it's also really handy just to finish up on uh, if you're noticing that your Figma file is crashing, when you're trying to export PDFs, sometimes this happens if you've got PDFs or frames with really high resolution images. Uh, Figma basically has a memory limit uh, that's constricted to about two gigabytes because it runs in the browser. So if you are noticing that your file is literally crashing or freezing up as you're trying to export PDF files from Figma, uh, using this option, the downscale option, 
is going to save you a lot of headaches uh, by automatically doing that and really making the PDF export process much smoother because those large high res images are really going to uh, be memory intensive for Figma when you're exporting and can cause it to freeze or crash in some cases. So hopefully that's useful if you've run into that problem too. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.